two prayers that got me through a very significant transition in my life. The first prayer was the serenity prayer is the serenity prayer. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can and the wisdom to know the difference. And then the second prayer is the prayer of Jabez, which is found in first Chronicles chapter four, verse nine and 10. And it says, Lord, bless me indeed enlarge my territory god and let your hand be upon me keep me away from all evil in jesus name and god granted his request so i just thank you god for granting my request amen those are the two prayers that i pray that got me through very significant times in my life in the past year which one was a move from Florida to Georgia. I left everything that I knew, my family, and we moved our family to Georgia to start over new because we knew that God wanted us to do that. And another transition would be becoming a mom again for the fifth time. And people may think it's the same, but it's not. So these very significant transitions, among other things in the past year, these prayer have, prayers have kept me footed. They have kept me grounded. They have kept my eyes on the prize, which is God and his will for my life and my family's life. So I just want to encourage you to pray those two prayers because it doesn't matter what you're going through. We're always evolving and transitioning into new things. And if you feel like you're not transitioning, I encourage you to pray these prayers and begin to embrace that and ask God to help you begin to transition or pivot in your life when you know you need a change. Um, especially the serenity prayer. If you really study that prayer and what it says, it says, grant me the serenity, the peace to accept the things that I cannot change. And when we go through transition, we try to have control in our own way. When God is trying to do something in our lives, we try to control it in some kind of way. And in that case, like we have to accept when we can't change something. We have to know what we can't change as we go through transition, because trying to control those areas or certain things in your life that you know you have no control over whether it be other people because that's one of the main things you cannot change a person you cannot make a person accept you you cannot make a person do what you want them to do and um you cannot expect a person to meet all of your expectations so ask god to give you the peace to accept the things that you cannot change and ask him to give you the courage to change the things that you can and give you the wisdom to know the difference because it's very important to know the difference between what you can and cannot change. Knowing what you can change and having courage to do it makes a big difference. Now, when you know what you can change and you don't want to do it out of fear, that's how you're going to sabotage your transition. So I encourage you to just ask God to give you the wisdom and the confidence, the courage, the boldness to move into the transition with uh, peace, with serenity, with peace. And then the prayer of Jabez, I just, you know, praying that prayer when we are going through transition it's because God wants to enlarge us. So when you say, God bless me indeed, enlarge my territory. That's what that means. When you're transitioning and he's trying to move you, he's trying to enlarge you. And it does not always feel good. So that's why you ask him to keep his hand upon you and keep you away from all evil. Evil looks different. It, it, evil is not just one thing, one, per, one perspective. Evil comes in many different ways and looks many different ways. So asking him to keep you away from all evil, even your own self sabotage like you sabotaging yourself can be evil you can find yourself in sin distractions just being disobedient maybe you fall back on familiar things you don't want to get out of your comfort zone all of those things can be seen as evil things y'all my baby got hiccups so ask him to keep the evil away from you 
and just thank him for his hand being on you as you go through this transition of him enlarging your territory. He's going to bless you. He's blessing you even when you say yes and you begin to move in it with courage. He's blessing you to go through this transition. Know that he's not going to have you go through a transition, whether it's moving physically or mentally, spiritually, uh, whether it's becoming a new mom or you have to start a new job or you have to just seek out something new, it's time for you to move. Just know that his, he's blessing you, that he will bless you indeed and say, thank you for blessing me indeed, God, because he's going to bring the blessings, not in the way that you want it to look, but he's going to bring it because he's not going to let you go through this without having the blessings are giving you what you need to enlarge you as you transition. So, and thank him for, for granting your request. Thank him for that. Because at the end of it, when you get through this transition and you get on the other side and you see that it was for the best and it wasn't as bad as it seemed, thank him for granting your request. Because just imagine if you did not transition or if you didn't move or if you didn't pray and you stayed in your own ways. Where would you be? How would you feel? So thank him for granting your request in advance. Put your faith in it. Put your heart in it um, and put your mouth to it and speak it out and say, Lord, I thank you for granting this request. I may not see it now. It doesn't feel good. But God, I thank you. I thank you because you are doing something in me and to me as I go through this transition. So keep me away from all evil and keep your, oh, keep your hands upon me, God. I just thank you, Father. I thank you, Lord, for that and that word. Um, and be blessed.